This is Job 18 and 18. He shall be driven from light into darkness and chased out of the world. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak, Wadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, Akim, pushing this word with true sincerity, with charity, present your bodies to live and sacrifice. We who are ready to live salute you. So I just want to go into this lesson, okay, about Esau Edom, man. All right. And um, yeah, Esau Edom, which is the so called white man, all right. And the number one tribe being um, the tribe of Amalek, all right which is um, um, who you would call the uh, the, the uh, J-double-O's, all right? I'm not going to say what, what, you know, the word, but um, they're the elite bankers. They're the people who pretty much run this world, all right? And the Lord's getting ready to do away with them, all right? They're going to be chased out of the world. All right, because they were created. As a matter of fact, let me get that. This is Romans 9 and 19. Thou would say then unto me, why doth he yet f find fault? For who have resisted his will? Nay, but O man, who art thou that replies against Yahweh? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, why hast thou made me thus? See, Yahweh Bashem Shai is the potter, man. And he sets the stage. As uh, there's a saying in the world, it says the world is a stage. All right. Have not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor. And we can see very clearly that he is that vessel that is unto dishonor, man. What if Yahweh willing to show his wrath and to make his power known endureth with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. All right. Because Jacob is the vessel of mercy, Esau is the vessel of wrath. And every other player in between is simply just that. All right. They're just, um, you know, um, you know, like my uh, elders in Chicago used to say, um, uh, Esau, Jacob and Esau are the steak and potatoes. The rest of the, the rest of the heathen, they're just the, the fucking side, rest of the side dish, man. All right. They're, they're the little shits, you know, <laughs> little broccoli on the side, you know, whatever. <laughs> okay. You know, but the major players is Jacob and Esau. That's what this whole war is about. And we are at war. All right. Because, you know, the thing about Jacob and Esau is, you go into uh, uh, history, it says two nations was in um, <clears throat> Rebecca's, Rebecca's womb, and they were fighting. And uh, the earth is like an unto a womb as well, and we're still fighting, all right? And we're, what we're coming into is the birth of a nation, all right? What if Yahweh willing to show his wrath and to make his power known and do it with much long suffering? The vessels of wrath fitted to destruction and that he may make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which he had afore prepared unto glory. Right. So these were things were already uh, ordained, man. All right. The Lord declared the end from the beginning. All right, and he formed, as the scripture says, his hand had formed the crooked serpent, man. So he made Esau to be the wicked. He's the antagonist in this whole story. Even us whom have whom he have called not of uh, of the Jews first, but also to the Greeks, right? Well, that was that was the point. All right. So you have a vessel of wrath, and you have a vessel of mercy. All right. Right, this is Second Ezra 3 and 13. Now, when they lived so wickedly before thee, thou didst choose thee one man from among them whose name was Abraham. Right? Him thou lovest, and unto him only thou shootest thy will. And madest an everlasting covenant with him, promising 
him that thou wouldest never forsake his seed, right? And as the scripture says, uh, not not the seeds of many, but of one, right? All right, even Isaac, okay? And unto him thou gavest Isaac, and unto Isaac also thou gavest Jacob and Esau. As for Jacob, thou didst choose him to thee, and put by Esau, and so Jacob became a great multitude, right? So, hey, the Lord has uh, rejected Esau, man, all right? And that's why we see what we see in the earth today, all right? We see the so-called white man basically lashing out. He's throwing a temper tantrum in the garden because he's been rejected, man. All right? Matter of fact, let me get that. Um... Right, this is Hebrews 12 and 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. For ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. And this was before Esau was even Esau. This was ordained from him. As the scripture says, Yahweh Bashim uh, declared the end from the beginning. <laughs> All right. So the Lord put by Esau, he rejected him, man. And, and, and like I said, that's why we're seeing all the wickedness and debauchery. All right. That in, in the earth right now, right now, we're seeing wickedness reach its heights, man. Because Esau, he understands that he has a short time and he understands that he's rejected. So what is he saying? I'm going to be as vile and wicked as I could possibly be, be in this little town that I have, man. And that's something I would encourage all Edomites to do. All right. Don't waste your time trying to be righteous or because you're, you're not the righteous, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, it's good to talk about how he, uh, you know, war is in his heart, man. You know, when he do it good, he do it that unwillingly, man. You're really going off when you try to do good. All right. Because you really, you know, as scripture says, his hand have formed the crooked serpent, man. You're really that crooked serpent. You're meant to be wicked and you're meant to be destroyed. Your sins are meant to reach onto heavens. All right. And, you know, you, you know, even though it's a vexation, that's why, you know, when I read Romans 9, it says he endured with long suffering, man. All right. Because, hey, man, the, the whole earth is tied to this damn devil, man. Other devils are tied to these devils, man. Ruling, man, and, and wickedness, man. Hey, none of your jokes are funny anymore. No, nothing, nothing's, you know, nothing's funny anymore. It's just vile, man. All right. And, and, and we're tired of you, man. The, the earth is tired of you, and you're the only race that is designated for extinction, man. Matter of fact, let me get that. Yeah, Job and Obadiah goes in hard on Esau, man. Even though in Job he doesn't really mention Esau, but he fits the description. All right. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is Obadiah. Uh. uh 15 for the day of the lord is near upon all the heathen so all the heathen are going to get they get their ass whooped and put in slavery but you're gonna you're the only one that's going to be extinct after that thousand years <laughs> as thou hast done it shall be done unto thee thy reward reward shall return upon thine own head for as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain so shall all the heathen drink continually yea they shall drink and they shall swallow down and they shall be as though they had not been. And what you're going to drink is that cup, all right, which is full of destruction and pain and death, all right? But upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Esau, I mean, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for a stubble. So the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom, man, we're gonna come together. We're gonna be in rulership. We're gonna put you. We're gonna put you down like the rabbit dog that you are, man. 
and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall be not any remaining of the house of Esau, for Yahweh hath spoken it. All right. So yeah, all these Edomites are, are, are they're going into slavery and they're going to be extinct, man. You know, as it says in the book of Obadiah, uh, I mean in the book of Job, Jobadiah, <laughs> Jobadiah. As it says in the book of Job, uh, you shall not see the floods, the rivers, uh, the, the the floods of honey and butter. All right, you're not going to be able to enjoy this earth. You're going to be chased out of this world, man. All right. Okay. But yeah, it's a little quick lesson I wanted to do, man. You know, the, the, the creation is getting tired of this devil, man. The scripture says the physician cut it off a long disease, man. All right, so this cancer is about to be removed, man. Shalom.